one other thing, and that's when I get into my pictures here. You'll notice that the pictures that I have just rendered in my render queue have popped up right here. So even that one I canceled that's got the crazy view, it's gonna um, save automatically in the folder that I choose. Same with this blank one. All right, I'm gonna delete those. One of the things you have to realize is that if you don't come in and change their names or move them into another folder, when you run that same render queue again, render queue is going to replace your image. So this picture that I have right here for Milika's um, bathtub camera number three, when I render it another time, it is going to overwrite the one that is saved in my folder. So if you're going to be using the same scene and uh, manipulating that scene, you want to make sure that you save your previous pictures in another folder or rename them because it will just overwrite them. And I had issues with this. I set up uh, several scenes and I was rendering things, but I wasn't changing the names of the pictures. And so when the render queue was finished, I thought I should have like 15 pictures and I only had three because it just kept overriding the picture as it saved it because it had the same name. Now to get around that, what I do, let me um, X out of this. What I do to get around the naming issue is I am going to save multiple scenes. All right, so let's say I am going to set up two cameras for this scene and I want this picture for the first camera and I want this picture let's uh, get a picture like this I'm gonna move this camera here so now I have the other cameras turned off and I have camera the the default camera and then I have camera two so I want to render this view and I want to render this view and let's say now um, I'm gonna change this so now I'm gonna have her gonna take Milica and I'm gonna change something so I'm gonna have her in a new pose all right and I want her to be in a different pose for my next render batch okay so I'm gonna get like just a new render setup so I'm gonna give her a new pose and then for my other camera her hand is whack so we're gonna fix that okay so now I have another pose what I need to do is I need to save this as a new file so I'm gonna go to save as scene and then my um, my original was called Milica Bathtub. I'm just gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna name this one Milica Bathtub. If I can find it. Here it is, Milica Bathtub. I'm just gonna name this Milica Bathtub 2. So now I have two scenes. Hit accept, saves it. Now let's just get out of Daz. All right, I'm gonna get out of Daz and I'm gonna come back into Daz and I'm gonna show you if I have some scenes saved, I can exit out of Daz and then I can put them right into our render queue and just render them. Okay, so I'm gonna open up Daz and once I have Daz open, I'm gonna get the screen in the position I wanna render. I just come up to Window, go to Panes, oops, go to Window, Panes, come down to Render Queue and um, I'm going to open this up. My old renders, I need to delete, so I'm just gonna click, 
hit the shift key, select them all, right click, go to remove both scenes. Once I have that done, I'm just gonna go, cause I don't have anything open, I can't do add current. So I'm gonna go to add, and then I'm gonna scroll down to my two Milica bathtub pictures, or bathtub files, I should say. And my two Milica bathtub files, see I've got Milica bathtub one, Milica bathtub two. So I'm just gonna hold the shift key, so whoops, sorry, hold the shift key, select both of them, hit open, and see it's gonna put them both in. Now it's gonna come up with that same screen. So in this case, I want all visible cameras to be uh, rendered. And I'm happy with everything else. So I'm gonna hit okay. Then um, if I want the first one to render first, remember I just select it and I can hit this arrow and it'll rearrange what I want. If I want to edit, I just right click, go to edit scene options, it brings up my menu again. Once I'm ready, I just hit render. It's gonna ask me if I'm ready to continue. It can, I can uh, select the shutdown computer after last render if I want, and I hit start rendering. And it's gonna show me the two scenes that I have in the queue, and it's gonna take a few uh, moments to load. I can skip this countdown. I always skip my countdown when I'm around watching the queue. And then it's gonna open up this first Milica bathtub scene, and then it's gonna render it, and then it'll do the same thing with the bathtub too. Remember that it's going to overwrite any pictures that I already have. So this picture that is wrong because I forgot to open up all of Daz, so it just rendered the middle section. This is gonna be replaced, as well as this scene that's all funky with the wrong camera. So it's gonna, it's gonna fix both of those. All right, so uh, let's just watch this one more time. We'll watch these renders and let's see what we get. All right, it's moving to the second picture in our scene. Okay, it's moving on to the third picture. You can see it, it tells you how long it took for each render and then it gives us an estimated minutes so it's saying it's gonna take 25 minutes to uh, do this third picture in my bathtub render it probably won't take that long um, I don't know how it gets its estimate but you can see it took 8 minutes and 1 second for the first one 8 minutes and 13 seconds for the second render and then it's estimating this third render. And it's about to um, start here. So as you can see, the render queue has now moved to the second set of pictures. So it's now rendering Milica bathtub number two. And so we'll let that go ahead and render as well. Okay, everyone, the render queue is over. It rendered both pictures from both of my scenes. And what's cool is it gives you a rundown of how long it took for each picture to render. And then, you know, when it's finished, it gives a total time. So it took this uh, set of four pictures, 34 minutes and 28 seconds to render. And then it comes up with our um, done the whole queue has been processed so once we're finished with this we can close it out and check out our pictures okay so in the file I've got my bathtub pictures all four of them in sequence here and now I can rename them do post work on them whatever I need to do so I hope this helped you 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me some comments. I'd love to know what you'd like to see next and what you think about this video. All right, until next time, have a wonderful day.